you guessed it, I'm out bass fishing and it's been long overdue this year. Would you believe we're in July already and I haven't been out bass fishing. I normally get out in May. Now, the reason for that is I've been very sidetracked by the chub and the trout prior to that. And I also, don't rib me for this bass guys, got very excited by doing a bit of light lure fishing for mackerel. But conditions have fallen into favour on one of my days off and I just had to go and get those bass under my belt. I left this morning and we were in a big storm. The rain passed over just as I reached the beach but that big wind continued on and I was hopeful that that would push some fish into the surf, into the breakers. But after about an hour of fishing and walking, it wasn't looking very hopeful. Finally, I hooked my first bass of the season. Just a schoolie, but I was off the mark and with newfound motivation, I continued on in my quest for a decent one, hopeful that I'd called the conditions right and the big break would bring some fish right into the surf. Another hour passed without a bite and suddenly box waves began to form in front of me. I love formations like this, choppy water, disorientated bait fish. It's a brilliant scenario to jig with the sand eel and so I swapped over and immediately hooked into a very good fish. It pulled some drag and I was, um, let's say I was a little bit nervous being my first proper hookup of the season. There we go, that's a lot more like it. But luck was on my side and I got the fish in. Up he goes. No sooner than I'd put that fish back, I cast again, allowing that sand eel to hit the bottom. Jig pause, jig pause, jig pause, bang! Into another tremendous bass, pulling drag. My heart was in my mouth. What a way to start my season's bass fishing. I earn that back spot swamp. go. Oh, that's fighting. Oh, this could be a better fish. Very hard to say at the moment. It's just running. Oh, it's running. Come here. Oh, I think he's a lot smaller. What a cracking bass that absolutely nailed that V2 sand eel and I had to fish a bigger size than I usually would this session just to push it out in those strong winds. I carried on with the same jigging technique and I had a manic hour of sport as the tide turned. Oh, there we go! <laughs> We're in. I realise he's hooked yet, that or he's small. <laughs> Come here, baby. Come here. Ooh, ooh. He's small. <laughs> he's not that small, though.
it's good set. There we go. About time. running he's running Oof. crotch up like a better fish Finally, the tide dropped, the wind died, and the fish moved off. And that was it for a tremendous morning of bass fishing sport. I've been using a new combo this session, one that I haven't tried before. I liked my SCS5 and my SCS8. They were fast, pokey rods that could get a lure out miles. But this season, I've gone down in combo price, and I've picked up the SGS4. It's a cheaper rod and a tippier rod and I really enjoy that because it means whether you're fishing for schoolies or big bass, you're enjoying every single fish that you hook. And to be honest, it hasn't compromised my casting range much at all paired with the same SGS6 reel that I used last season. I'm gonna walk my way back now after a successful session. But I think what I'll do is I'll put on a good old trusty seeker and see if I can perhaps tempt one or two more on the walk back. But to be honest, after that sport, I'm not too fussed if I do or don't. <laughs>